Next thing I want to show you is how to um, insert graphics and insert videos. I'll go to insert graphic, go to my desktop where I've got my temp media shop folders. Here's the VBS slide that I want to have this week. I click on that, hit select, and now it shows up. Now you notice it's got that different manual advance option there. Because it is in my pre-service slides, I want it to, man to timed advance. So I'm going to go to advance, timed, change that to 12 seconds. That's enough time for everybody to read it and get a general idea. I'll hit apply, and there we go. I've got my graphic built into Media Shout so that everybody will see the uh, VBS slide this week. If I wanted to change the size of it, um, Media Shout is set up to automatically put it at the full scale, its original size. Um, but if, say, it was a 4x3 uh, uh, ratio, you might want to put it at full stretch. Um, but, of course, if it's a picture of a person and you try and put it at full stretch, it's going to make them really tall and skinny or really short and wide. Um, so typically, I'll just leave it on full scale. I'm going to cancel. It's going to ask me if I really do want to cancel. I'm going to say, uh, yeah. There we go. So then if I want to insert a video, I'll go to Insert, Video, Video File, and Find a Video File. Here we go. I've got a Father's Day um, video. We used this last week for Father's Day, and I put the countdown over it. Um, that way, uh, while the countdown was going on, people had something entertaining to watch, and uh, you could watch this funny video about fathers. So, so I'm to delete that. Turn off the key there. Um, a couple other things you might want to learn to insert is websites and uh, PowerPoint videos or PowerPoint sections. All right, so to insert a PowerPoint show, we'll go to Insert Slideshow. I'm going to go wherever I've saved it. I've saved this one to my Temp Media Shout files, and here's a PowerPoint presentation. So I click on that. Um, this one actually isn't a built presentation, it's just got one slide, but if it had multiple slides, it would work. So I'll hit select, and here we go. Here's what I built into PowerPoint, just one blank slide. If there were multiple slides, they would continue to load down below. So I'll delete that. Um, if you want to load a, um, a website, you can also do that, and you can uh, put a, uh, like Facebook or a, um, a website that you want to show people during the service you can actually do that on the projector within Media Shout. So go up to Insert, go to Web, then we'll type in the website we want to use. So HTTP www.facebook.com. Hit Select. And now you would see on the uh, extended screen it's got Facebook and we can actually go in and we could uh, sign into Facebook right now and we can show everybody what we're doing from within Media Shout. that way we don't have to uh, exit out anything. Now another great thing you can do we'll delete this is you could actually load up a YouTube video by inserting web going to youtube.com um, let me get a YouTube file first. We're going to load the Lego movie trailer. So I would go to YouTube. I would get the YouTube uh, URL there for the video that I want to work with. Go into Media Shout. Hit that. Then, right after Watch, there, I'm going to do underscore pop up. What that's going to do is instead of taking me to the YouTube website and just showing me that and I'll have to actually click on it myself, it's going to automatically start playing the video for me. So if I hit select, now when I click on this, on the extended screen, you will start seeing the Lego movie trailer.